Hello you guys, what's up? Good morning, when do I do that? Since when do I ever do that, starting my videos? <laughs> what's up guys, welcome back to my channel. It is like 10 a.m. on February 13th and it's my birthday. Um, everyone's been asking me like, what are you doing for your birthday? And my mom and dad both called yesterday asking about taking me out for dinner and like uh, some of my girlfriends were like, bitch, what are we doing? Are we celebrating? And in my mind, I'm just like, it's another day. Like, I feel like I'm just getting older. So as, every time I have a birthday, I'm like, not acknowledging um but you know i'm 29 so i got one official year left to get my shit together and i'm confident i'm gonna do it so i have so many big goals for this year just personal and business and i've already had a pretty good start to the year i would say so i'm feeling motivated and excited and just especially with all the recent tragedy uh here within the first two months of the year um it's very important for me to today to take a step back and focus on everything that I have and I have to be so incredibly grateful for Christian and for you guys and for being able to do this job and stay home with him in our beautiful safe amazing house and Sadie and like it's so I feel like it's so easy to get caught up in all the little problems that we have and we can like spiral them out and make them seem bigger than they are but when you take a step back and look at the bigger picture we are all so blessed like even you guys just watching this YouTube video means you have internet connection or you have a phone or you have a computer like things that people would only dream of having you know I feel like I don't know just especially on my birthday putting things into perspective is really important for me And it's also very important for me to let you guys know you have been a huge 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 reason besides Christian You guys have been the biggest reason that um, I have been so happy lately And I'm feeling so fulfilled in my job and every single day I'm grateful for you guys to have the audience and the followers that I do you really make it feel like a community and that I'm supported and like you guys are truly amazing I know I say that a lot and I get rambly but I don't know it's my birthday and your girls in the feels so I appreciate you guys so much if you are watching this and you kind of just like skim by my videos every now and then I would love to have you subscribe officially join the family you can also follow me on the gram I feel like I've been on insta story like every day lately um, but anywho even though it's my birthday today is still a full work day for me so I dropped off Christian at school and then I went home and that's why I kind of got glam today because I knew I wanted to film and I also have to film a module for my Instagram students who are inside my digital course so I figured I would just like do some makeup um, so I dropped off Christian at school today and tomorrow's Valentine's, So, but they're off school. So instead of celebrating Valentine's tomorrow, they're celebrating it today. So Christian and I brought a bunch of donuts and sprinkle cupcakes and like all this stuff for his Valentine's party, which is cool. Oh, and then I crashed my car. <laughs> when I was leaving to, uh, when I was leaving Christian's school, this was totally my bad. So feel free to be like, it's your phone, cause it totally is. Um, an, uh, another lady and I were backing out at the exact same time and there was a curb behind me on where we both parked. And I totally just thought like, we could both, so we we're, it's hard to explain on video. We were both backing out, but there was room for both of us. And I actually turned on my like peripheral mirror that I have, cause the Mercedes in the front come with like a little screen, kind of like the Tesla where you can, you can see there's a camera in the back. So I looked at the camera and I had enough room, but apparently I didn't have enough by like this much. And the, the uh, front right of my car hit the curb and there is a huge, um, uh, scratch indent on like the inner part of the tire on the silver part now and the car is running fine thank god but the um the alignment is off now like after that happened i pulled over i was like please don't be a dent please don't be a dent oh my god please don't be a dent and there's not a huge physical dent in the car itself but under the tires where it's all scratched and then as i'm driving if i let go of the wheel for a second the car veers to the left so the alignment is definitely off so i already called on the way home from christian school and um I already called the the maintenance shop to bring in the car. So luckily the car is fine and everything's good. Thank God because it's a pretty brand new car and I would hate to have something be wrong with it like this early on. But everything is good. I just have to pay to get the alignment fixed and hopefully they're gonna tell me everything else is good with the tire. But you know I'm safe. Christian is safe. Christian wasn't in the car. Thank God it was after I dropped him off um, and that was just my bad. But I'm surprised that even looking in the mirror like the mirror had the little green check like yeah you got enough room back up and then i guess i must have been off by such a small amount because i like heard it hit the curb and i was like oh shoot so you know my birthday's starting off great just out here crashing cars and <laughs> i don't know what else i was gonna say crashing cars and i don't know so anywho got home fed sadie did some work and now we are heading out to the mall so i figured i would vlog i want to find a birthday outfit because you know i gotta post on the gram because it's my birthday and i feel like i got nothing to wear um i haven't gone clothes shopping in the longest time so i figured i would take you guys to the mall with me i want to pop into aldo guess and windsor I feel like you can find super cute stuff there, but it's still like relatively affordable. I haven't been to the mall in forever. Um, so yeah, I really don't go clothes shopping very much. I'm someone who goes like once a year, I stack up on what I need and then I'm done, you know? Um, so 
yeah, I'm going to take you guys to the mall with me. We're going to find some stuff. We're going to go home. I'm going to show you kind of what I'm eating throughout the day. Um, and I'll show you what I end up getting at the mall. We'll probably do some work tonight. And then I have to pick up Christian and we will do um, some practice for his reading program at home. We might take Sadie to the dog park. You know, who knows what this great birthday day will hold, okay? I don't know, but come along for the ride. Um, in a few minutes, we're gonna hop into my office and I'll show you guys a full like mall haul. I haven't done a try on haul in forever or done like a shopping haul in a minute. Uh, I'm someone who I really don't shop for new clothes like very often. Um, and then when I do, I'll pick one day and I'll just buy a bunch of stuff and then I'm like good to go for the next year. But I just, I've been so busy lately and I just haven't like got new shoes or new clothes. So I just wanna pick up a few things today. But I just got home and it's like 2.30 p.m. and I haven't eaten all day. All I had was a coffee this morning, so I am starving. So we're gonna go ahead and make some lunch. I'm gonna go ahead and have the Daily Harvest Bowl today. This one is the smoothie, banana, and greens. These are literally so convenient, you guys, and so affordable. If you've never actually heard of this company, I wanted to just let you know about it. Also, when I got home, I ended up having these guys, which are the little bites that come. So these are pre-packaged containers that are portioned out and delivered to you, and all you have to do is throw them in your freezer, and you're good to go. Then throughout the week, there's no meal prep you know, necessary. You open the freezer, choose what flavor you want, and you're literally done. It's so easy, it's so convenient. And for it, for it being pre-packaged and like nutrient dense um, and chef curated, it's very, very affordable. So like on this one here, you can see on the back, on every single bowl, they put all the ingredients on the back. So if you're allergic to anything, or you have like dietary restrictions or anything like that, you'll know. So the smoothie I'm gonna have today has banana, cucumber, kale, spinach, lemon, and wheatgrass, and it lets you know right there that it's organic. So this is a smoothie that I'm gonna make today, but I actually went in the freezer and just pulled out a bunch of them so I could show you guys what they offer. I actually found out about this company originally from my friend Kalail. Um, she actually makes videos as well, and she just did a video kind of highlighting these, and I thought, what a cool concept. They have super, super cool packaging, very minimal, but very colorful. Um, and it basically tells you on here what it is. So they offer soups, they have oat bowls, they have little bites. These are like little cacao bites, which are so good. Christian is actually obsessed with these. And before this video, he was eating a bunch of them. And I was like, wait, leave some in there. Like I need to show the vlog, but he's obsessed and he's he's a very picky eater. So the fact that he can just open up the fridge, pull out something and know that, I'm, that he's already gonna like it is incredibly convenient. Um, so like I said, this one I'm gonna have today just has all the ingredients on the back. We also have oat bowls that you can heat up for hot food. We have soup. Every single ingredient is gonna be on the back of all of them. And then again, you just keep them in your freezer, pop them out when you're ready to go. All right, so you basically pick whatever smoothie you want. You'll take off a little plastic wrap up here, and then you'll see all the ingredients are already in there and portioned out for you. So you are just going to carefully pour that into your blender and then add whatever liquid. You can do water, you can do almond milk. Um, usually I like to do almond milk. I use this 30 calorie almond milk, which I just get at like Barron's or Target, but I'm almost out of this. So if I don't have enough, I'm gonna add in a little bit of juice today. I'm a tiny bit short. So I'm just gonna add in a bit of this mango juice. You could do ice if you want. I find that without ice though, it's really, really good because it already comes frozen and everything is like so dense that you don't even need ice necessarily. I'm just using the Ninja blender, but obviously feel free to use whatever you have. And then you're literally done. Just blend up and you're good to go. Pop in your straw and you are going to go. Oh my God, so good. I had this one twice, I think, this previous week. Oh, so good, so healthy. For someone like me who works literally so much, and I have my son, and he's a picky eater, and everything is just pre-portioned out, it, everything is incredibly healthy, and they have, um, on their website, I know you guys can choose as well if you have certain dietary restrictions or any 
specific food preferences, which is really nice. Um, so it's just very, very convenient. You guys definitely, definitely please try it out. You know I truly will only mention a company or a sponsorship to you that I know that you guys would love and you would actually use and is truly a great product. So um, they are giving me $25 off to give you guys off of your first order. I will have the link below. I'm so grateful that they would team up with me and offer that to you guys. Um, so definitely check it out. If you guys order anything or you make like a variety order and you get, if you try the cacao bites, let me know. Or if you order smoothies or whatever, just tag me on Instagram or um, leave a comment under one of my videos and let me know what you got and how you liked it. All right, so it's now Sunday. I wanted to just come on and continue the vlog into today. I know I showed you guys yesterday. I went to the mall to get a few things for my birthday. Nothing crazy. I just picked up a few things, so I wanted to sit down today and show you guys what I got. Um, I just picked up a pair of shoes from Aldo. Ooh, that lighting though. Um, oh, I'm kind of digging my makeup today too. A lot of you, off topic, but a lot of you have been asking on Instagram what makeup, um, what eyeshadows I've been wearing lately because I've been doing a really bright like gold lid or a super, I did like this, um, teal lid the other day and they're all from Makeup Geek. Their new shadows are incredible. The formulation is just incredible. I've always loved Makeup Geek. They've always had like standout products for me with like pigmentation and stuff, but this new launch they just did, I mean, you guys just have to try them. They're so, so, so good and they're really affordable. I really like how Marlena has always catered to, um, you know, kind of like drugstore pricing because Makeup Geek is also sold in Target if you didn't know. Um, I can try to put the exact colors I'm wearing on my lid down below. I do also have a discount not sponsored, but if you guys want anything, um, Makeup Geek did give me a discount to give you. Um, so I'll put that down there, but just to kind of get into what I got at the mall, I got these shoes from Aldo. They kind of have that like snake skinny material up here. Super comfortable. If you follow me on Instagram, you've already seen me wearing these because I actually had this pair last year and then they just got really dirty, but I liked them so much and they were so comfortable that I was like, you know what, when they wear out, I'm just gonna buy the same pair again. So went into my just local Aldo and got these and I had to size down in these two. Usually I'm like a nine and a half, but I ended up getting an eight and a half. Love those. Um, if you guys wanna get them, they're called the Jill. That's the style name. And then I ended up picking up this. I thought this was super cute. I didn't try this on, but, and I'm hoping it fits, especially with like my new boobs. I think it'll fit. I just got a medium. Um, but I actually got this one at Nordstrom Rack. I thought like the black lace was super cute in there. The back is just normal, but I just thought that was cute. Um, while we're up here, I also picked up this shirt. This is from Chase and Chloe. Is that the brand? Chase and Chloe? Uh, it's from Marshalls. When you first walk into Marshalls, there's like a women's section to the left that's like a little more high end. You know, they have like their $10 shirts, $12 shirts, and then this was like 35 because it's like made a little bit better. Um, I forget the brand. I can look at the tag, but I love this. Just a cute little short sleeve flannel. Um, you could even like cinch it in at the waist. Not too, you know, low or scandalous. You can definitely do the button however you like, but I don't know, I just thought this was real cute. Then I also got this tank top from Guess. If you follow me on Instagram, I've already worn this. I wore this on my Instagram feed for like my birthday post. Kind of comes up at the bottom and has like that V and then it has just like a deep V right there with like a little knot in the middle. Super cute, the back is just like, you know, normal. But um, I love this. I think just tucked into jeans with just like a statement belt popping out would be super, super cute. And probably my favorite thing I got out of everything is this dress. It's like jean jacket material, but it's a dress. I don't know, I'm obsessed. This is so cute. Um, I'll put links to all this stuff down below. I did purchase all this stuff in stores, obviously, but I'll look online before I upload this vlog and I'll find the links if you guys wanna purchase any of this stuff online. Um, I'm pretty sure they should have this on the website. I like that these sleeves are super short, like they cut off right here. They're not too long and like suffocating. Um, they're pretty short. Everything has gold detailing, got the little pockets, collar, and then it just goes all the way down. And it's not too short, which is cool. It's not super short or scandalous. Like it covers your whole butt. It covers a good portion of your legs. Um, I would say it's like mid-length. I just love this material. Obviously you could wear the zipper as high, as low as you want. It was really priced really well uh, too. Like it's very thick, you can tell it's really good quality, but I think it was only like 40 bucks. Um, I think, I'm gonna find the link online for you guys, but I remember it was on a really good deal. They had a deal going on in the back when I went there and like looked at the racks um, for certain dresses. So it, it wasn't that pricey. And then I got this black set as well. This is a matching set. This is also from Guess. So it's just black and, oh, the tag. It's just black and gold crop top. And I like that it's a little bit longer. If you don't want to show all of your stomach or you just want to like be a little more covered up, it's a little bit longer for a crop top, which I like. And then that just goes along with this skirt here. So I thought that was cute. These were like 20 bucks a piece and you could buy them separately and mix match colors or you could just like buy two of the same for a matching set. 
so yeah that was pretty much all i got at the mall nothing too crazy just a few things i also had to drop off some returns um and then i had to stop by the personalization store which is like a jewelry you could do like plaques jewelry rings and like personalize them for people and i was getting a birthday present for my dad so i just ended up doing a bunch of errands uh at the mall was maybe there like an hour but um i am gonna look online and see if i can find links for all this stuff for you guys so if you want anything that i just showed just be be sure can i talk be sure to check the description box hi uh, what are we making tonight we're making cheeto chicken cheeto chicken yeah what's up guys we just got back from the grocery store i figured i would throw this little segment into the end of the vlog because christian and i were watching some mukbang videos earlier and they were making like hot cheeto chicken with like cheeto crumbles i don't really like anything too spicy so we're gonna do regular chicken but i figured i would show you guys how to make it it's very very easy if you have a variation or another way you do it feel free to leave it in the comments you know your girl is not a chef uh but i figured it'd be cool to throw christian in the vlog and cook with you guys so sweetie why don't you tell them if they want to make it at home what ingredients do they need What's everything right here? Okay guys, this is what you need. I'm um, showing you only chicken and then some like um eggs, milk, Cheetos, flour, and a pan with olive oil. Good job. So we already preheated the oven to 400. What we're gonna do to make the crumble first is we are gonna actually blend up the Cheetos. So I just have a Ninja Blender. Hopefully it works and this is not like too durable for it, but we're gonna blend up an entire cup, which is, um, or an entire like Ninja cup here, which is about two cups worth of Cheetos. Okay, so once we blended that up, it only made this much. So if you guys are gonna make this as well, you're probably gonna need to blend up a big cup like this about three times, because when we pour it out, that's all it made. Um, and we're not making too much chicken. It's just Christian and myself. We just cut up these little pieces to make like mini chicken that, tenders. That feels so bizarre. <laughs> it's weird, huh? It um, so we're not gonna need too much Cheeto crumble, but we'll probably do one more blender like all the way full. So if you guys are gonna make it as well, you might wanna double or triple that. Next guys, we are gonna crack three eggs at the same time while we're doing it. Three eggs, right? So don't put any shells in. How about we crack it down here and then you help me, ready? Now help mommy, help mommy. Good one. No way I could do it. Okay. Oh my God. Don't okay. get the shell in there. Good job. Next up, add almond milk. Just a tiny splash of almond milk, right? Ready? Splash. Okay. All right, so Christian's gonna mix that up slowly. Do not get all the crumb, we don't want the crumbles to get all over the counter. So we ended up doing like two or three times that amount of Cheeto crumbles, and there's also three eggs in there, some almond milk, some flour. He's gonna stir that up. Um, basically, all I did was cut up some chicken thighs. I cut off all the extra fat, and I rinsed these as well. So what we're gonna do is just take these one by one, and we are gonna completely put them in the flour. Then we're gonna put them in this mixture to coat it with. Then we're gonna put them on the tray and we're gonna, I'm already heating up the oven at 400. I think we're gonna cook them for like probably 15 minutes and then we will come update you guys what they look like. All right, so this is what we came up with, guys. Um, it does not look good at all. It kind of, they just look like mush. Cause I did really small kind of like square tenders instead of like long strips. But I have a feeling this is gonna be something that kind of looks whack, but then once you cook it, it actually tastes bomb. So, you know, just ignore it. How it's looking right now. Good job, dude. Give me a high five. Pound it. Good, you did really good helping me. So oven's on 400. I, I'm gonna set it for 15 minutes. And if I need to do it longer, I will keep you guys updated. All right, so the chicken is done. Let me try to lift it up here in better lighting for you guys. They ended up just being, like I said, smaller kind of like circle poppers, if that makes sense. You could dip them in ranch, barbecue. I sliced open the chicken right in the middle so you guys can see how well it cooked. The chicken inside is perfect. We made the coating too thick though. I would have definitely put the hot Cheeto crumbles in a separate bowl and dipped the chicken into the egg mixture first and then put it in the Cheeto crumbles so it could stick to it. So our mixture was actually like too thick, as you can see. The chicken's just kind of in there in the middle, but when I cut them open, we took them out perfectly at the right time and they're pretty good. They're kind of like too flavorful though. Like if I was gonna do it again, I'd probably make the batter about half as thick because it's it's kind of too much. Um, 
but I mean it is good Christian likes them I'm gonna get out some ranch so he can have some with dinner um, but overall I kept them in for 25 minutes instead of 15 so if you guys are gonna make these and you heat the oven to 400 degrees um, I would recommend about 25 minutes so Christian is currently in first grade as you guys know but he is a little bit um, B-E-H-I-N-D, which I don't want to say out loud because I never want him to feel like he is that, you know? I want to just always encourage him. Um, he's a little, you know, he's in another class as well, which gives him extra time for reading and stuff. So, but his speech is progressing a lot. So let's see how much of this one you can sound out tonight, and I'll help you if you need to. This is a sight word. Is a small dog. Good. Keep going. Sound it out. Woof, woof. S-A-M. Sound out. S-A-M. Sam. Sam. Yep. Sight word. Is a dog. Big. Big dog. Good. Woo. Good. You just read the whole page. <laughs> Good job. Let's try to read this one. Biscuit. Biscuit. That's a sight word. A-N-D. Little dog. No, A-N-D. What's that a sight word? Sam. Sam. Is R R dog Christian? Are you getting tired? Look at the words, baby. You gotta send it out. G G mm. good good friends friends. Good job. Make sure if you get frustrated or you don't get it, just sound it out, okay? Try sound them out. Uh, you can one. Sam. Sam can pick carry carry a stick. A b big stick. Good. All right. All right. Lay back, baby. Give me your hands. Let's pray, okay? So, do you want to pray tonight or me? Give me your hand. Okay. Close your eyes. Dear God, thank you for absolutely everything that we have. Thank you for all of our family and Sadie. Please keep us very safe this week. And Lola, Nanny, Grandpa, <laughs> Amber, Berkeley. Yeah. In the last vlog, you were so cute. You were you were naming every single person you wanted to pray for. Smile. <laughs> you silly. I don't smile. Stop. Much. Smile. God, please help us to just have a beautiful, incredible week. Keep our family safe. Yours. <laughs> Come here. I'm gonna show you. You're so cute with that one tooth. I die. That tooth is so big that grew in. Wait. Smile. Let's show the vlog. Smile. Oh my gosh. Thank you, God, for everything we have. We love you very much, and we understand that we're very, very blessed, and we're just so excited for this week, and amen. 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 Let me guess. <laughs> I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. You're my little bestie. I love you. I'll check on you soon, my love.